Hey, my name is Cherie and welcome to my fashion and style channel. This morning I woke up and I went to Ulta and I picked up some new makeup products. Let's talk about the items that I picked up. They're new to me. They're not necessarily new items, but I'm still excited about them. I have to do something with my hair. Yesterday I went to Six Flags with my school and it was raining. So what I'm going to do now is put on some of this Too Faced Lip Injection. This is the Maximum Plump. I've never tried this one before. That's why I'm using the smaller travel size version. But I've used the original one and I really love how it kind of like smooths out the fine lines in my lips. So I'm hoping this makes my lips big and juicy i have this one size primer it's actually a sample i just feel so tired i did not get sleep for whatever reason this foundation is super old right but i've never tried it it is the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup and i got it in the color 62 i did try my best to color match I don't necessarily go for cooler tone foundations and then the neutral one wasn't my shade but it was neutral. Here is what it looks like. Really nice, right? I'm kind of nervous about this cool tone. All right, so first of all, I go with neutral undertones. That's just my thing. Sometimes I'll go for like a golden as well but they didn't have a lot in stock. So the neutral did match me in store. So let's just see how it matches me outside of the store. I'm not a professional. So me trying to pour the right amount of foundation on the back of my hand, very challenging for me. Should I have put my hair up? Okay, let me try to do something. Okay, so that'll do for now. I just want to put the foundation on. So let's see i'm gonna dot it on first it's actually pretty good right what do you think it doesn't look like it's going to be a bad match at all does this color get darker as the day progress because sometimes foundations do that to me this looks really nice and it kind of covered up those two dark marks that i have on my face so let me see if i could this is like a pimple that doesn't go away for whatever reason i've accepted that it is a part of me so i'll put a little on my neck i'm actually going to be trying on clothes in the video that i'm filming so i don't necessarily want foundation all over my neck because i don't want to put makeup on the clothes i just got them Ugh. i picked up two concealers i picked up the nars radiant creamy actually they're both nars radiant creamy but they're two different colors I got the chocolate dark zero. They didn't have the full size, so I just went with the travel size. And this is how it looks. And then for more so highlighting, I went with the medium deep three Amand. Or is it Amande? I'm not really sure. This is what that color looks like. So I'm gonna start with the chocolate only because it's deeper and i'm gonna just you know let's see put it on the outer corners first to start not too much not too much just a little i love this oman color it reminds me of a latte and if you are a person who's into coffee you know the importance of a latte so there it is sometimes i do put a little bit on my chin as well and truthfully i don't know why i do it i think it's because of youtubers when you do highlight like your chin the bridge of your nose your forehead you're highlighting it, right? So you're emphasizing those things. I don't need to emphasize anything on my forehead because I already have a forehead. Nowadays, I do focus more on kind of minimizing the, the height of my forehead by putting bronzer on or contouring. So I'm gonna blend all this yummy goodness in. Nice. So right now I can kind of see where the concealer is. So then I just take the foundation brush and kind of blend the edges in to the foundation real quick. 
I do feel like the foundation is matte so I could see the concealer stand out a little bit more because it's a radiant concealer so I could definitely see like the the radiance of it the shine opposed to where the foundation is is kind of dull okay so that's that now I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Laura Mercier the powder I've had this this is not one of my new items and put it under my eyes and this is gonna help with you know removing a little bit of that shine the Too Faced lip injection is tingling and making my lips nice and plump before when I first started using it I was like oh my gosh what is on my lips now I'm like the base looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my Fenty bronzer. I have it in the color Mocha Mommy. I use it because you could see that I use it a lot. And I bronze the perimeter of my face, mostly like my forehead. I told you like is a big forehead, so I gotta bring it down a little bit, just just a little bit. Not too much on the chin. I just use like the excess on the chin. So far, so good. Trying to get a face for filming. That's all. I'm not trying to go to the ball. I've been using this to contour my nose. It's the bronzer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nice little thinner brush, blending brush. And I just kind of create a line from my eyebrow down my nose. I don't want to slim my nose i kind of just want it to have a nice shape i guess i don't know this part just makes me feel like i'm completing the face because without it it looks very flat so you know what i'm adding dimension that's what it is i'm not reshaping my nose or doing any of that i'm adding the dimension that's needed so that the bridge kind of stands out and then the shadow that i put next to the bridge will kind of give it that, you know what I'm talking about, dimension. I'm going to use my Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Not too much. I got it in the color 430. It's old. It's all broken up. Look at that. <laughs> I just tap it all over and this is going to kind of bring everything together. So the last new item that I picked up is When Beauty by Serena Williams. I saw this as soon as I walked into Ulta. It was a whole setup. It was beautiful. So she did have like a lot of foundations, but for some reason, the foundations that has SPF, I don't know if it's the SPF or I don't know what it is, but it just, every color was so gray to me and I, I just could not get with that. But I did want to support, so I picked up this pigment. It's um, a blendable pigment, right? Ooh. And at first I thought they were lip glosses, and then when I tried it on the back of my hand, I was like, oh, it's very thin. So it's a pigment that you can use on your cheeks, you can use it on your lips, and it came in, I don't know, about six, seven colors. I picked the orange because I've been really wanting like a nice orangey blush. Let's see how it works out. It is a liquid, right? I'm just gonna do a dab for now, and I'm going to kind of tap that in. So I smile to make my cheeks stand out. Oh, that's pretty. I can use maybe one or two more dabs to kind of build it up. I use the um, Rare Beauty liquid blush. I use that one often. And then with me, like when it comes to blush, I always kind of tap it on my nose too. I don't know what it is about all of this on me. I love how it looks when it is blushed up. It blends out nicely and I feel like it builds nicely too. I like this. If I had to compare it, well, I'm not gonna compare it. I'm not comparing Serena Williams to anything. Great item. 
it comes in other colors i think i would try they have like this really nice fuchsia pink so i would try that one i'm gonna take the bronzer the first one by fenty and i'm going to just kind of throw it on my crease only because I'm not doing a face or anything. I just want a little color. And being that my face is pretty much done, I'm gonna set it. I need to invest in a new setting spray, but this one is by e.l.f. And I like it because it kind of gets rid of that, um, that powdery feel and look. Give me a minute. <laughs> Sephora and I just love this applicator it's so big and chunky I don't wear falsies I haven't worn falsies in I want to say over a year at this point it's not really my thing and what I have noticed since I haven't been wearing false lashes is my eyelashes are growing they're thriving so I said, you know what? I'm just gonna work with what I have on my face. Putting on mascara and talking is wild. As for my lips, I'm going to line my lips with chestnut. Do you guys use any other browns? I've tried to use different browns, but none of them compare. I'm gonna just line my lips. Ooh, do my lips look more plump? I'm not gonna overline or anything. I kind of want it to look like natural. <laughs> Saying that things look natural on a face full of makeup, I don't know. But I guess that's the idea. Like you want to enhance your beauty. There's clearly makeup on my face, but it's natural makeup, you know? And then when I have my lip liner on, I just go like this. I'm just gonna wear a lip gloss. This lip gloss is by NYX. It is a butter gloss in the color Praline. Here's the face. So now I have to go film my fashion and style videos. I hope you come back at a later date to check them out. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in the content that I create, check out my channel. Subscribe if you like everything you see and I will see you next time. Peace.